Hi! In this video, we'll look at testing for stored XSS. Stored XSS arises when an application receives data from an untrusted source and includes that data within its later HTTP responses in an unsafe way. In a stored XSS attack, the attacker places their exploit into the application, but the exploit only executes when a user visits a particular location. For example, an attacker may place an exploit in a blog post comment that later executes when a victim user visits the blog post. While Burp Scanner can detect stored XSS, you can also use Burp to manually identify linked input and output points in the application, then test these links to determine whether a stored XSS vulnerability is present. If you'd like to follow along, you can use the lab Stored XSS into HTML context with nothing encoded from our Web Security Academy. Once the lab has launched, we first need to identify points where user input is stored and then later displayed by the application and link these input and output points. To do this, we'll go to Proxy Intercept and click to toggle Intercept On so Burp intercepts each request and displays the message details in the Intercept tab. Now we can browse around the site and review each request to identify data entry points that may be vulnerable to stored XSS, such as this comment form. We can check we have submitted a unique value into each of the identified data entry points and then click forward to send the request. We can now go to the proxy HTTP history tab to filter any messages that include these unique values. Click on the filter bar, under filter by search term, enter the unique value. Click apply. The HTTP History tab now only shows messages that include the unique value. You can now review the messages in the HTTP History tab to identify any linked input and output points. Now we can start testing for stored XSS. Once we've found the linked input and output points, we can right-click and use Send to Repeater for both the initial request that results in the input being stored and the later request that results in the input being displayed. Switch to the Repeater tab. Create a grouping repeater that includes the two messages by right-clicking a message and selecting Add Tab to Group, Create Tab Group. Make sure both messages are added to the folder and click Create. Then make sure the messages are in the correct order so the input message is before the output message. In the input request, Change the data entry point to a proof of concept XSS payload. For example, script alert1 slash script. Click the send drop down menu, then select send group in sequence separate connections. Click send group separate connections to send the two requests. Then right click on the output message and select show response in browser. Burp Suite displays a dialog containing a URL. Copy and paste this URL into your browser to see if the proof of concept ran successfully. If you use the alert function in your payload, you should see an alert pop up. 